Dr. Trichome here. Um, why I use a metal watering can. I had a couple questions about heating or temperature of your water. The reason why is microbes don't like cold water. Uh, you can kill microbes uh, with water that's that gets 60 or below or something like that. So you really got to be careful. I have a hot plate here. I have this now when I have this filled up and I'm mixing in the, um, the stuff that I use when I water my plants. By the time I'm done mixing, the water is usually generally perfectly warm to the touch. I haven't uh, taken any temperature readings, but I, I, I guess I could and probably should. Um, but that's that's basically the gist of it. That's uh, it also you really don't want plastic containers. They might possibly be able to add dyes and other chemical processes. This is about as pure, as clean as and as old school as it gets. I have this area pinched here. I need to pinch this one down a little bit further, but uh, that way I can the water kind of just spreads out a little bit easier. You know, I don't, I don't really like the stream because it starts to burrow into the soil and make these weird channels and tunnels. And you can kind of screw everything up that way. So there's metal watering cans are great. Um, I think I got it at the 99 cent store. <laughs> Two bucks or something like that, two fifty probably. Looks good in there. So warm, warm water. The microbes will love it. They really respond to that. And no added chemicals. So that's probably all I can think of at the moment. A little, a little early I'm still waking up but I know some people I've been having some issues lately I was on another person's channel looking through the comment section they were having growth issues so hopefully that guy gets back to me I asked him a couple questions see if I can't help him out I'm having an issue with one of my plants, but I think it's because the watering is, I just, watering spaced out the way I want it, but I needed to give it more water the, 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 the first feeding, so she's shown a little bit of signs of stress. Um, so I don't know. It's the only one now, all the other plants seem to be way fine, they're, they're loving life, but that one just seems to be angry. She's been angry the whole time, so who knows? Probably giving it too much. Might just back off and just keep give her her own little watering. Because the other ones are, are enjoying it. This one, I think, I think adding uh, the kelp might be too much for, for that one. Uh, I might be getting too much of something. Uh, I'm thinking phosphorus maybe um, so we'll see and she's still growing like crazy though so I don't, I don't I don't know it just might be a genetic thing I know a lot of flowers are freaking weird so and those two auto flowers are kind of strange and those are from a not a very good bank uh, I just got a screaming deal on the white widows that because I wasn't sure about germination I still had to learn a bunch of stuff about that so um, but that, that's about all I got for today, guys. I might, I might do another video later. Well, that's the watering can. Yep. See you guys later.